Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Ben Larsen and Mikal Tal. This is the game from the Candidates Tournament that was played in the Netherlands in 1969. Ben Larsen had white pieces and he started with knight to f3. Tal played knight to f6, c4, g6, knight to c3, bishop to g7, e4, d6, d4. So we have a king's Indian defense. Tal castled kingside, bishop to e2, e5, Larsen castled kingside 2, knight to c6, d5, knight to e7, knight to e1, b4, and knight to d2. These two moves are also very popular in this position. In our game we have knight to e1, knight to d7, sometimes black plays knight to e8. In our game we have knight to d7, knight to d3, f5, bishop to d2, knight to f6, f3, f4, c5. White will strive to fight on the queen side and black of course on the king side. g5, rook to c1, knight to g6, knight to b5, rook to f7. If g4, c takes on d4, c takes on d4, knight to c7. So we have rook to f7 defending the pawn on c7. c takes on d6, c takes on d6, but now queen to c2. White is insisting on playing knight to c7. g4, knight to c7 attacking the rook. How would you continue? Perhaps rook to b8 comes to mind. Do you agree? Tal played pawn takes pawn on f3, attacking the bishop. g takes on f3. Interestingly, grandmasters always recapture with the pawn in this position. Black to move. Should rook go to b8 now or there is another move? What would you do? Tal played bishop to h3, sacrificing the rook. Knight takes rook. What now? Queen takes knight. Bishop takes rook or there is another move? Please pause the video and try to find the move that Tal played. What did you find? Did you find knight takes on e4? Why? Why did Tala sacrifice the knight? To clear the path for the queen. Pawn takes knight. Queen to g5 check. King to f2. Queen to g2 check, king to e1, white is better materially, rook and knight, if white can defend his king, then it's all finished, easier said than done, but how to continue to attack? Tal played knight to h4. Threatening f3. If, for example, knight to c7, then f3. Larsen played a clever move. Is this a clever move? This is losing a bishop. How would you continue? Pawn takes bishop. Tal captured the pawn on e4 with a queen. What is wrong with pawn takes bishop? Well, the bishop is poisoned. 
if pawn takes bishop then rook takes on f7 and after king takes white has a winning move what is the winning move for white in this position the winning move is check and after king to g8 queen takes queen and white is winning so tal played queen takes on e4 bishop to e2 f3 bishop takes knight queen takes bishop check knight to f2 blocking pawn takes bishop queen takes on e2 black to move how would you continue i guess bishop takes rook comes to mind this is not what Tal played. He played e4. Is this a predictable move? What is the purpose of this move? No, the purpose is not to attack the pawn on b2. Why to move? Rook to g1, saving the rook and pinning the bishop. e3, attacking the knight. What is defending the pawn? Queen takes pawn and now rook to e7. Now you can understand why Tal played e4 and e3. The queen is pinned, but this is not the end of the story. Bent Larsen is fighting back. Rook takes bishop check. King takes rook and now white has a good move in this position. The move is rook to c7. If rook takes rook, knight takes rook and white is better. So what is the best move for black? Is black in trouble? Tal played bishop to d7. But now rook takes bishop. Rook takes rook. Why to move? Queen takes on a7 was played. Is this a good move? This is a bad move. White queen is in the offside. What is better? Perhaps a queen to c3 check or queen to g3. And after queens are exchanged, rook to e7, king to f1, king to g6, knight to d3, with the idea to play knight to f4. White would be fighting for much longer. So, queen to a7 is a blunder. Rook to e7 check. King to d1. Queen to c4. Queen to b6. Queen to f1 check. King to d2. Rook to e2 check. King to c3. Queen to c1 check. King to d4. White king is a sitting duck. Can white survive? How would you continue to attack if you had black pieces? Tal played queen to e3 check. King to c4. Black played the move and white resigned. The move is rook to c2. White resigned. If king goes to b5, the same story is with king to b4. Rook takes on b2. 
check and after king to a4 rook takes queen knight takes rook queen takes knight and we can stop here what a game what a fight what do you think of this game and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.